Hi everybody. Today I want to use my brand new Cuisinart Prep 7 food processor. Okay, okay, it's not brand new. It's like... Uh, it's about nine years old. <laughs> but I've almost never used it. Because... I thought that this part up here where the um, where small stuff can go through uh, carrots and things like that and then you push them down through I thought that was the only part that I could use and I mean it's only like a couple of inches so you might put one or two carrots in there because there's another part right here see this part here I'm pulling out okay because I tried this here like years ago and I thought that it had to be pushed all the way down see there's a, a stem here and it has to be in a little bit in order to um, in order for the mechanism to work so like right now if that's not in there this will not start okay even though I have this locked in place and the handle or the bowl locked in place so right now that won't do anything see but as soon as I put this in place if I let's see if I got it in far enough Okay, so you have to put it in. Like that maybe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so it has to be in it a little bit for it to make the connection in order for it to work. And because um, I tried different ways before, like when years ago, and I must not have been pushing it in quite far enough to make its connection so I thought it had to be all the way in and I said well that's kind of stupid I said what's the point in this right but I watched a video a few days ago and I said oh my gosh I didn't know so I pulled it back out because I was thinking about selling this I mean look how big the, the mouth is for this right like it's nice it's big probably three and a half inches probably by I don't know two inches or more let me go get my measuring tape okay so the widest part is almost three inches two and three quarter inch and then the this part is let's see I'd say four and a half inches because I don't have it quite uh, there. Uh, almost five inches okay almost five inches by what did I say almost three inches versus when I thought that it, it could only hold this size which is where so I thought that the food that can go in here had to only be this wide which is just under two inches so I said well what's the point in having this when I have to cut everything up really really small in order to be able to slice things up so I put it aside and and recently I had bought a uh, a star for it where you turn the little handle and it was it's a drum 
eraser, shredder, and Julian. Okay, but it kind of worked. But uh, the Julian wasn't thick enough. The slicer was way too thin. So I really wasn't happy with it. So I returned it. Then I picked up the electric Starfruit mandolin. And it sliced. It cubed. It julienned. So there was two thicknesses for the julienne. There was two, no, there was three thicknesses for the slicing. And there was two for the julienne, three for the slicing, one for the cubing, and one more. Anyways, so I found the cubing not big enough. I found the slicing good because there was three to choose from. I found the julienne not big enough, even though there was two of those. So uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think I would have liked a thicker one. So anyways, there was parts that I was uh, not sure about. And then you put the f the food on the top and you kind of push it. And sometimes it was hard because again, the same thing with that is that it, it only had a small opening, even though they said that was extra large. It was probably no more than three inches. So I wasn't fussy about that. So I was on watching some YouTube videos on mandolins and electric slicers, things like that. And of course they came across the food preps, uh, food processors. And somebody was doing a video on this very machine. And so when I saw them pulling this part out and being able to put food in there, I said, oh my gosh. So, here it is. I've got it all washed back up, all ready to go. I'm going to push this part in, all the way in, because I'm going to actually use the sear top part, if my cucumber fits in there. An English cucumber might fit in there, but um, the field cucumbers, because they're thicker, won't fit in here. Okay, so I'm going to go get a cucumber and see if we can slice it up. This is a really heavy machine, like, and where I'm kind of weak, what I did was I just laid a, a cloth at the very bottom of it so that I can slide it around easier. Although, I noticed when I have it on, <laughs> it has really good grips, but I have that there, and so it's going to kind of slide around a little bit while it's doing its thing but I'm not worried about it. I'm, I've just cut the ends off here and I just uh, taken the plastic off. So I'm gonna take a minute. Throw this in the garbage. What I'm actually doing is prepping my food for my pitas. I like making pita sandwiches. So I get the pita bread and and then I uh, I clean up all my romaine lettuce and shred it and um, clean it all cut it up and put it in there I'll do a video on that there the next time but anyways for today we're just going to work on the stuff that's going in here I'm just going to press the pulse. OK. 
Okay. That wasn't that quick. All right. Now I'm going to take this off. And I want to do my tomatoes. Before I do my tomatoes, uh, actually, yeah, let's take this off. This definitely beats having to cut it all by hand. And as you can see, the top is cleaned right off. There's no, there's no scraps left here. I'm just um, taking the slicer off so that I can show you. So the cucumbers, yeah, they are kind of thin, as you might be able to see. Okay. But you can get accessory. That's a nice thickness if you're making a scallop potato with potatoes, not cucumber. <laughs> um, when I discovered that I can use that part there that I was showing you, the big mouth, um, when I discovered that, I said to myself, I said, oh, I wonder if I can get accessories for this. Guess what? I could, and I did, but they're not in yet. So I have a thicker slicer coming. Um, I think a Julian, because it all comes in the pack. So this is a four millimeter slicer right here. That slices to four millimeters. The other slicer that's coming in does six millimeters. And what else comes with that? I think a shredder and a Julian, I think. I think. Plus um, an extra shredding disc, medium or small. I'll find out when it gets here. Because this comes with, I think this is the large. I think that's the large shredding disc. Not positive. So I hope the shredding disc doesn't come in the same size. And with this I have, they sent me this for free and it's a French fry cutter and it's six millimeters. They sent that for free because they had a problem with their slicers or something like that, like about eight years ago, something like that, nine years ago. And if you wrote into the company, they would send you a free disc. And that's what they sent me, a French fry one. So I say, hey, cool. So anyways, what I want to do is just take my tomatoes, uh, not my tomato, cucumbers. And you want to be careful because these blades are very, very, very sharp. Not to worry, my hands are clean. Whenever I'm working in the kitchen, I often take breaks. Like, I, I can go wash my hands five, six, seven times. It does, like, I'll just wash them as soon as I feel the need. I go wash them. So, see, these are all nice and evenly cut. How oh, lovely. Okay. So we'll put that there for now. And we're going to put our slicing disc back on. Okay. And we're going to put our cover back on. Oh, uh, no, not yet. We need the tomato. I washed all um, my tomatoes a couple of days ago, so they're good. Now, let's see. Put my put the wide milk back on. 
Okay. <laughs> you want to <laughs> make sure this is in the off mode before you plug it in because when I first first bought this the first night I bought this my husband and I came home I bought it at Sears we're looking it over and he goes and plugs it in and the machine starts oh my god stopped right away and of course some of the parts because they're all in there they were damaged <laughs> and it damaged all the this here bowl and everything <laughs> and the store was getting close to being closed so we called them up told a little white lies I don't know what happened blah 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 <laughs> So they had the last one in the store. So we went there and bought this one here. Gave them back the other one. And that turned out perfect because this was their demo. So I wound up getting it at a cheaper price. <laughs> okay, it wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, golly. All right, so. Like, just look how fast that is. I can just put that in there. For the thickness it is right now, that's also a nice thickness for making um, apple pie for slicing the apples. Okay. And don't forget I'm visually impaired, so if you see me struggling to find the buttons and that a little bit, just that's that's all it is. I'm just trying to find my way. Okay. Okay. So fast. Here's here's what's left. Look at that. Look at that. That's it. Okay? It's nothing. Pretty sure there's nothing left on there. Let me just put that there for a sec. Let me grab another bowl. That big container I showed you of the lettuce, what I wind up doing is I'll put um what I'll wind up doing there is I'll I push the lettuce to one side and then these things that I'm cutting up here will go into separate little containers and sit in there too. So all my pita stuff is in one spot in the fridge. Plus by having it in that little that large container everything lasts a little bit longer. So that's a good thing. So this, when you're putting the bowl on and the pusher on, they have to go just left to this part right here, okay? And then you slide it in place like that. And then, where you're still using the slicing, whoops, there we go. So there's the, our tomatoes, all nicely sliced, okay? Kind of thin for a sandwich, but it, it works good for, um, it works good for the pitas. And I mean, even if you're having a sandwich, it's still good enough for a sandwich. Look how nicely those are cut. Isn't that lovely? All cut nice and even. Nice, I'm happy with it. Okay, so now we got to put our pusher back on. You see again, you put that just to the left and then slide it over to lock it in place. Then we're going to need this maybe. I need some pickles. So. 
All of these are my favorite toppings for my pitas. Or if I'm making a sub. These are dill pickles. I guess we better only do one at the time. What I'm going to try making in a couple of days is um, da -da -da -da, pie crust. Because this comes with a chopping blade and it also comes with a dough blade. See here, where's my pusher? Pickles, aren't they just perfect? I love them. Mmm. Mmm. Have to test them out, make sure they're still good. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I got a little container here. Put the pickles in. wasn't for my gabbing. Look how fast I've done all this. Like everything. Like, look at these pickles. Like they're just all perfectly cut. Okay. I'll put my cover on that. Okay. So that's the pickles done. Now what you do, I don't know, can you see this? No, you can't. Okay. I'm going to place this here. Normally it's supposed to be on a flat counter, but I want you to be able to see how easy this is, even for a blind person. You just, there's a little button here. I just pull it up. Pull it up and twist. <laughs> there. Okay? Like that. We take that off. Next, we want our shredding blade. So again, 
I'm just going to put this here so that I can show you how it's done. There's notches on here somewhere, but I can't see them, so I, I do my own way. So I pull that little knob up, and see here, there's one, two, three pieces that stick out. And there's three pieces on the blade. One, two, uh, let's see. I think one, two, wait, one, two, three, I guess. I don't know. Can't see it. One, So, pull the little button. Oh, I think I have it backwards. Okay. Pull the little button up. I line up the first one. And then everything else just falls into place. Then you just turn it. It's really easy when I have it on the counter. But you see, you just, you just line it up. It goes down straight, give it a little twist and it locks in place. To take it off, you just pull that little lever up, give it a small turn, and take it off, okay? There, did you hear the click? That's in right. our shredding disc. Okay. And we need to put our big mouth back on. And now I want to do a couple of carrots. Peel these very quick. You know what? <laughs> the amount that I'm using the food processor right now, that's the most it's ever been used. I'm so glad I found that uh, video online on YouTube. I like having kitchen gadgets that make my job a lot easier. Whatever makes my life easier works for me. I'm not going to be making a pita today, but when I do make it, record it so you can see me adding all this here stuff to my pitas. And at that time, I'll show you what kind of meats I use. I use just little cold cuts, turkey or roast beef or that's already shaved really thin. 
sliced really thin. Um, turkey, ham, just stuff like that. It works good. Okay, so let's get our carrots on shredding. I always just use the pulse button. You can put it in either way. Don't matter. All right, it's our carrots, and I think. I'm done for today, I think. I think I got everything in there that I wanted in there. So, let's see if I got another container for that. Let's see if this is big enough. If not, I'll have to go get something else. This is actually good for crackers or something. But if it fits, because I need something small so that they fits in with that big container. So here's what's left of our carrots. Just a couple of little specks. Uh -huh. I'll eat. When I take a blade off, I always put it upside down and then onto the counter. Hmm, look at all this from two carrots. Wow. I don't think that's going to fit in there. Mm -mm. No, sir. I need to go find something bigger. I'll be right back. This might be big enough. I can't actually see, I can't see that container at all. So you might see my hands moving around a little bit more because I'm feeling to make sure I have room and then I'm getting it actually in the container and not all over the floor. <laughs> Which wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh golly. I pour water on the floor all the time. I'll be pouring it into what I think is my glass. And how come there's no water getting? It's taking a long time to fill up my glass. And then I fill. Oh, jeez, it's all over the counter, all over the floor. <laughs> oh, it's not the end of the world. That's no biggie. Not to me. Just chuckle and move on. Okay. I think these are what they call lock and lock. I think they're made by Rubbermaid. I just got them. Let's see if I can see a name on them. 